my dad's street. It's Candyland. Candyland. Christmas. Candyland Christmas. This is for you, buddy Will, to make you feel better, sweetheart. Candyland Christmas. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. To the right of me is Melissa, and she's on her 12th Coke in the last hour. No. She's a Coca-Holic. So. <sighs> Got a couple things for you. Uh, there we go. Mike's a little It close. is. What it is is the shirt for today. The men's department. I got... During this pandemic, I've been buying t-shirts from the men department since uh, the women's merchandise has not been very nice. So, I've been wearing these. So, yesterday, you want to show what I bought you yesterday? Has anyone seen these? Doritos Tangy Pickle. Now, Melissa loves pickles. I mean, she loves the pickles. sour, the better. And I drink the pickle juice. Look at Finny. You want one, Finny? No. He was at first in the car. He's like, he took one smell of it. He's like, I'm not, I don't want that. I'm telling you, you can't eat many of these. Why is that? Because they are sour. Crunch sour punch is true. So how many of those can you eat at a given time? I only eat a couple. No. Oh, Daddy said no. I'm sorry, baby. So what do you think of those? My eyes are watering. <laughs> it's like having a raw onion over here. <laughs> See, now... Um, now she has something sour and something salty at the same time. And she's always looking for something like that. You know, yeah. oh, I had my sweets Sweet. now and I, I have some salty. salty. Heaven forbid. Or vice versa. Now you have, we know that you have a Coke addiction. Two and three four. Two and three quarter ounces. I'm just going to have two right now. Should be good for the night. Got my little fix for right now. Now, Melissa, <laughs> uh, we've known each other for, what, 25 plus years? Yeah. 25, 26, could be as much as 27 years. Uh, mm -hmm. Married 23 Mm -hmm. uh, okay. See? No. No, 20, no, 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 no. 22. 24. 24. Because our son's we'll, going to be 23. That's, that's right. 24. 24. Year. Hello, kitty. So that, you see my hello kitty blankie? So that means right in here. in May, we'd be married for a quarter of a century. 25 years. No. We're married. Wait. We're married 24 years now. Then yes, twenty five. Yes, mm -hmm. in May would be twenty five years. Mm -hmm. A milestone. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because I was um, teasing them. Well, I'm kind of teasing them about a uh, Louis Vuitton handbag. I mean, he he's really good about buying me. I love handbags. Excuse me, and I have. <laughs> Coaches, quite a few coach expensive bags, and some Dooney and Burke. I started with Dooney and Burke, but then I felt the quality wasn't there, so then I went to coach, and occasionally I'll find a Dooney and Burke bag that I like. So I love my coach handbag, but because it was going to be a substantial um, milestone, I didn't want to upgrade my my rings and stuff because him and I both need to get our rings resized. So we haven't been wearing them uh, to make them smaller. They've been falling off our hands. I had to even wrap tape around it. 
So you don't want Louis Vuitton. A, you don't want a coach bag. You want a Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those like a lot of women just owning one. It could be worse. I it could can, say I want a Birkin bag, and that's five thousand dollars. It it's, must be a status symbol with yeah, these type of purses. Look what I got here, folks. Well, <laughs> I, I appreciate. I don't feel like a big shot when I have them. I love the Coach handbags for the quality. I like to stand. I for me, I don't like to stand out because oh, look at me. I. I don't want to wear the same thing everyone's wearing. You know, I have my own taste. Croc skin. Weird and design. stuff. You know. But. <laughs> I appreciate a good handbag. And if I, it's true. If you invest in a good handbag, years and years and years and years. If you have a daughter, which I don't, you know, you could pass it down. It could be worse. I mean, you could be into shoes. I've got a True. friend of mine I used to work with, and she always bragged she had like three closets full of shoes for every little event. You know, it's like, how many times are you going to cha change a pair of shoes on a given day? But she does. So, um, so you want a handbag for our anniversary? Or, no, the way I'm we... I'm going to do some research. We, she kind of puts it in a way of combining our... Her birthday is in the end of January, and our wedding anniversary is in de the middle of May, or early part of May. And, May 10th is our anniversary. And she, January 27th is my birthday. You talked about the, the other day, you mentioning uh, one expensive handbag cover both. Hmm. Uh, you know, I'd be a fool not to take that off. Or, I mean... I have to do some research and look. You know, go on and look. So you rather have a handbag or spend an hour or two with a bunch of... With, uh, with goats? It's just not going to happen while this pandemic crap's going. No, no, Maybe no. a couple years from now. No, no, I it found... It might happen. I found somebody... But, you know, she wants a, you know, chick ching chick ching chick ching How much chick ching chick ching chick ching does she want to go play with her goats? Well, it was like, her, she had a, her, a zoo animal package was, uh, it had a bunch of different animals from a mule down to rabbits. Now, and, I'm just interested in the goats. And that was like four something. But then she came back with between three, three fifty, four, an hour of three goats. An hour for only three goats. And she promised her husband she we couldn't go out to her farm. She would have to come to us. So I'd have to sit in the cold winter in January, sit in the backyard, I, and play with the little goats. Hey, you've been yelling and crying left and right. I, I missed. We pet there on. And, um, when we hit out on a, what, 63 toward, uh, 75. Towards old school, or no. Time, um, time, times towards 75, the, uh, the highway from us out of mm -hmm. Lebanon. There, on the left-hand side, there is a farm. They got some pigs. They got some uh, goats and some other animals. And she's always out there like a dog hanging his head out the window. <laughs> Yeah, go, I'm always go. like, Shh, don't talk to me. I gotta look at the goats. And there's one going the other direction, headed out to Waynesville. Mm -hmm. There's a farm out there that has something similar to that. And but they don't have. They only have maybe two, and they have a, a pot belly pig in the yard. But the one going when we head towards the prison to get on the highway, I counted the last time like eight goats. They're not the t see. They're the normal size goats. What I really, really, really love and would love to get my hands on is a pygmy goat. Just a teeny little pygmy goat. I love goats. They are so such happy little creatures. They make me happy. They make me smile. I mean, heaven to me would be all of the animals that I love in one area. 
but it would have to be, especially with our neighborhood and that, you know, she wants this thing housebroken. In the house, trotting along with our four animals, it just ain't going to happen. You know. Yeah, the only way that I'd be able to get in our a goat... In our retirement years... Is we would have to move... Into, like, what they consider, like, a country. And there's plenty of country areas here where you could have... Like, my brother is a perfect example. He has so much land, and he could easily have chickens there if he wanted. He can have cows. He could have goats. No one could say anything to him because of where he lives and how much land and stuff he has. Now, granted, where we live is not what I consider the big city, like Chicago. Um, but we were we are in the city of Lebanon. Yes, they have their own set of rules uh, compared to other townships. So um, I don't, and also I don't. I would have to check on. Uh, I think mean, Warren County is okay with it. It's just I don't know about the city of Lebanon itself. So I don't know. It's something we've been debating about, talking about. It's not like we put a no even to moving ideas, but you know. I would just like to wait and do the goat thing when I can really do it good. I don't want to just settle for, oh, uh, this is the best I can do right now during pandemic from the farm lady that, you know, I'll bring two or three goats to your house. Keep in mind, my birthday isn't the end of January, so it could be, you know, I mean. Well, right now it's the 11th of December. So the 11th, 12th, and 13th, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know, we've had close to 60 degree weather. Right now I'm looking at the, looking at the uh, stats, it's 58 degrees outside. Now tomorrow's supposed to be wet, a little rainy and windy, but almost 60 degrees. But I can't guarantee that in January, but yeah, we may have to hold off the goat thing until at least maybe May. So well, mid spring, and even then, until this pandemic is under control, we might as well. Either way, back. at the pandemic or no pandemic, it's not going to change. She's not going to have us out her farm. Period. She has to come to us. So I was doing some research on goat farms, but when I reached out to two or three different people, who would you know you could actually go to their house. They sell goat products, like they make. Stuff with the goat milk and stuff. All those places right now are closed because of the pandemic. They can't. They're like, we will get back with you when when we're allowed to do this again. So that's not going to happen for a while. So since I've known you all these years, you've always had a Coke uh, addiction. When, when, uh, keep... Uh, well, let, let me let me let me set this. Coca Cola, uh, not drugs, because anyone that knows me knows how I feel about people that do drugs. Yes. No. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. You have a Coca Cola addic addiction now. For the viewers out there, when we were dating, I would go. Oh, to please stop! Oh, I love the story. Please. <sighs> We go. I go to her house with dinner and two two liters of Coke. We would sit there eat Chinese food, finish off with one two liter, and it was the end of the night. And she's like, "Good night," and she keeps the other two two liter and says, "Oh, by the way, don't let's repeat the process again tomorrow night." So she always kept one two two liter to help her through the rest of the night. I always thought that was funny. We would watch movies and then we would also play video games. No, I watched you play video games. What, Zelda? Yeah. Zelda. I went over to her house one night. She playing Zelda. And you, know, you can't just stop Zelda at any time. You have to finish it, what you're doing. But, you know, I'm there by 5, and then I'm leaving at around 11 o'clock midnight. It's like, I got to go home and get some sleep. I got to be at work at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, let's watch a movie. Nope, too late. So, we know you have a Coca-Cola addiction. Uh, you're starting to develop one with handbags again. I know. It's one of those rare things. You know. 
It could be worse. Yes, I know it could be worse. You also have a candy addiction. You like your rock pops? Pop, pop, pop rocks. rocks. Yes, pop rocks. Cherry. Only cherry. Don't they also made a cola version? No. No? Mm -hmm. You would think they would. Yeah. You're uh, thinking Tic Tacs. They came out. With yeah, those. I know that. The Tic Tacs did, but. You know, Coca-Cola, I don't eat the stuff, so I, you know, I don't know these things. See, she can't stop eating these here, folks. You put it out in front of her, she's back to the bag. And so, you gotta Somewhere. have your. I've always got to keep sweets in the house. I've always got to keep uh, pop in the house for you, as well as um, something Daddy salty. Daddy said no, baby. I'm sorry. What is your favorite candy? <laughs> well. Yeah, think about this. Take a drink. There's different kinds. You can't just say, what's your favorite candy? Now, keep in mind, there is the chocolate. You have to have a chocolate category in there. I would have a very hard time saying what my favorite chocolate candy is. Because he gets me these chocolate truffles from Kroger. Really good. But then I also like really good Russell Stover pecan turtles. So that would be really... And then I also like the Fiera Rocher, if I'm saying it wrong, with the hazelnut. And then I also like the um, Lindor. So I can't pick just one on the chocolate <laughs> variety. But if you're talking like hard, hard candy, lemon heads. Well, see, it's funny, though, because if I let her, if I give her a budget, I always give her a budget when she goes to Dollar Tree. Because yeah. if you don't put you on a budget at Dollar Tree, you go nuts. You know, it's like, got to have this, especially that candy aisle. Man, put it into a diabetic coma with all that type of candy. But I'm telling you, there has been a shortage of lemon heads. I have been lemon headless for far too long, and it affects my mood because I really like the tart candy. He yesterday he went to Kroger to try to find me lemon heads, couldn't find it. Uh, Walmart, he was there first. He couldn't find me any lemon heads. The Dollar Tree, where I had to go get some bubble wrap because I sold something. They didn't. They were totally out of lemon heads. Three stores, no lemon heads. So, you might have heard me mention I joined a monthly um, shipment of lemon heads from Amazon. I thought I was going to get them this past Monday because we're it's Friday today. I thought they were supposed to be here, back, you know, Monday. Mm -mm. It said next, this coming Monday. So I was really upset over that. and um, But then it sent me a message stating on Thursday, yesterday, that they were coming and they're supposed to be there today. And I got a message on my phone today from... Amazon stating that they were delivered. So I come downstairs and he's hiding them from me. I'm like, where's my lemon heads? And he's hid them on me. Well, f first of all, from our friend Dad, let's be happy. Parking friendly. Um, the package has my name on it. That's because, that's because I didn't change. You've been having such shift in your name, so I didn't change the name. I just left it. I know. I thought this is a package for me. Yeah, he thought it was for me. It's him. mine. I'll share some with you if you want some. Um, so, yeah, we got a package. It's not open. Um, not going to show you the address. Um, by flipping around, but it did come out of Lexington, Kentucky. So someone partially opened it. Came in that way. Uh uh. So I figure you could do an unboxing. All right. 
here's my package. I can't show the other side with the address. Oh, Lord. Fluffy stuff is attacking me. That's what you got filled up in there. Oh, my gosh. It's heavy. At least they're in the box this time. The last shipment I got, they were out of the box. See, not, it comes in this. Just because I'm your husband doesn't mean really you have to like, like the sound. If you own a store, you can just put this on the counter and start selling them. See? There I, are. I guarantee, folks, in three days, this candy will be gone. No, I can't do that. Oh, really. you have These done that. These are three ounce bags, okay? There's one, two, three. Four. You want me to rip this open? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight bags. So, yeah, I mean, if I had a store, a convenience store, I could, you know. So, if wife gives you, if wife gives you lemons, you want lemon heads. And you can't find these at Speedway. So there's my little a local gas uh, chain gas station here I think in Ohio. Everyone, yeah, but I think they're everywhere else too. Speedways. So I got well, my. Some, if they don't have a Speedway, that's uh, they have their sister store, which bought Speedway, Seven Eleven. Whether they're going to convert everything to Seven Eleven, only years will let you. So, I guess this is technically. I guess this is technically December shipment. And then... I could have swore the first one I ordered was like in Oct... I don't know. This is... All I know is this is my second shipment. I get... I will get one of these each month. And um, this was, I think, eight ninety nine for this. So, I mean, honestly, I'm not sure. I'll have to check the next time I get... To the Dollar Tree and see how many ounces are in the box and then figure it out and see. But the thing is, I think these are going to stay fresh versus the box because look, they're individually wrapped in these bags. Because I have, believe it or not, I have gotten lemon heads before from the Dollar Tree that were stale. They were like totally stuck together. And when you shake the box, you're supposed to hear them all individual clank, clanking around in the box. They were completely stuck together and they were stale. So some kind of moisture, I guess, had caused them to go stale. So at least this way, these are fresh. And really, this is probably a better option for me because, let's see. Well, really? It says this is six servings. I wouldn't think that's six servings, but it says it is. So it averages almost a dollar twelve per box. Per bag, you or mean? Per bag. So in your candy store in Walmart, they or I'm Dollar Tree, they're, probably like five they're a six. dollar a piece. So, but I don't know what the ounces between the two are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good deal or not, but I do like that they're individually wrapped. Um. Yeah. I'll try to be good. I will. I'll try to be good. I've heard that before. Um, these are my lemon heads, Finny. These are mine. I tell you, though, I'll be um, eating these, and Peanut, he'll see me, and he'll come over, and I'll take a teeny little bite, break it off, and give it to him, because he wants... A few teeny little bites himself of lemon heads. You can't have them. <laughs> Is the carbon wax and sanitized? If so, you can have one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we're going to have to end this because I'm. we have to start dinner. It's almost 6 o'clock. Oh, wow. Well, we hope everybody's going to stay safe. Always remember to stay uh, humble and kind, and uh, let's be careful out there.
Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I hope you're done with your Christmas shopping and everything. So I'm sure we'll do put out another video or film something this weekend. Still got your hair coloring. Yeah, we do. He wanted to do it yesterday, but I just really... I didn't want to do it yesterday. We will get it done this weekend. Because look at that. Look at that gray hair. We got to get rid of that. You also realize next week, uh, I only work four days. And then I, Friday the 18th through the 28th, I'm on vacation. December. Samuel's birthday will be on a Thursday the 17th. So we have to check with him and find out what he wants to eat for that day. He wants me to make him a pumpkin cake and he said pumpkin pie, but we're going to make the pumpkin cake, the recipe that we got from Smoking Mark and Smokey Stephen Mark. We love oh, you, Smokey Stephen Mark. Love you. And it looked really, really good. So um, I'm going to make two of them. One for our family and then one to split between Billy's family and my dad's family. So I'm going to make two. All right. Well, we'll leave you be. Um, take care and uh, we'll see you next time on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Bye, everyone. You and that Coke. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Yahoo! I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, humbug. <laughs> If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.